Aaron Randolph got tender. Maybe fourth person. Nobody. I'm lovely. I'm done. All right, see you later. <laughs> First week's training has been very good. Uh, you no know, lots of uh, intensity to it. Um, kind of fresh new group. Everyone's obviously eager to to impress the new uh, new manager and his staff. So we've had a good week, and then obviously over in Gibraltar, uh, we knew it was going to be a tricky game. We just wanted to get out of there with the with the win, uh, which we managed to do. Oh, the hotel was fine, by the way, as well. <laughs> Yeah, it was fine. Once as once as a bed, I'm happy. So it's all right. Jeff, you obviously go to all the weekend. I know Mick said last week you wanted you to uh, score more. Uh, did you get it on the back after that? Yeah, uh, you know the the manager and, and, and TC were telling me through the week that. Uh, I hadn't scored enough goals and, and it is something that I knew I hadn't done and, and I, I wanted to improve on and um, through the week I was just trying to get into the box getting on, on the end of crosses and, and that sort of stuff and maybe it was imprinted in me in my mind then going into the game and uh, you know thankfully I scored then. With that in mind is there a more attacking emphasis you think now with this current regime? Yeah uh, you know we didn't score enough goals, uh, you know, recently, uh, and and that's down to us as players. But we've been told to get in the box and, and try and score goals. So, uh, you know, it's down to us on the pitch to, you know, to really work hard uh, to get in there and get on the end of crosses or, you know, but balls that have been knocked down and, and that sort of stuff. What about the relationship with uh, with Connor midfield? It seems to go well at the weekend. Is it blossoming well? Yeah. It's yeah, it was fine. Yeah, I enjoyed obviously Connor done really well. Um, I've, I've not played with him too much, um, you know. But like I said, it, it worked uh, on Saturday, and, and, and we wait and see. Darren, I suppose just on Georgia, plenty of matches looking uh, to the past. I suppose in the last campaign as well, the, the two matches, your memory of the, the draw over there and the narrow win with James scoring at the Aviva. Yeah, it's going to be a totally different test to uh, Gibraltar. Uh, physical side, technically very good. Um, so we'll have different, we'll probably have to approach the game uh, differently uh, than the Gibraltar game. So it'll be another tough one. But um, like I said, we've played them a few times in the past. We know how tough it's going to be. And we've only just narrowly beat them in the past. So we'll uh, go out there tomorrow and, and uh, do what's needed. What shift of approach is needed on the races? I suppose they're going to come and try and sit in. Uh, well, they they might they might not you never know they might uh, just come and, and and obviously press us and attack and and try and put pressure on us instead of sitting back and and letting us have all the ball. Um, so that's just something we'll have to wait and see what you know how, how they approach it tomorrow. We've seen the last couple of campaigns, you obviously got a draw against Wales and we see that it's a favour against Scotland as well. Is there a kind of belief that Georgia in this campaign will have one big standout result in them? Yeah, they're the you know they're not. A terrible team. They're a very good team. Uh, you know, good technical players. So they make it difficult for uh, for anybody. You know, even they, they played Switzerland um, the other day. It was only in the second half. Switzerland managed to, managed to score and then uh, got their second one late on. So um, as you said, with the previous games they played Scotland and Wales, um, they definitely make it difficult for teams, and they're they're a decent team. So it'll be a tough one tomorrow. Jeff, we know like traditionally and historically Ireland have done very well as an underdog. Every time we play Georgia, we're expected to, you know, get the ball on the ground and pass, pass well, eventually score a couple of goals and beat them. Is that difficult from a player's point of view to have to be aggressive and go after them from minute one? Uh, it can be difficult when you know you're playing against a team who has, you know, nothing to lose with. 
when we've played them, we've been built up to, you know, it should be an easy game. And if you look now at a lot of the results, there's, there's not met that many easy games now. Um, but we just need to focus on on us and, and you know, our game plan and, and uh, go out tomorrow and, you know, display that and, and hopefully get the three points. Yeah, there's reports in today's papers that some of the fans are planning a protest against the FAI and the governance of the association. Will that be something to talk about, throwing tennis balls on the to the game, like I guess that's the last kind of thing the players want to hear. Or does, does it bother you at all? I didn't even know that was happening. So. Yeah. If it happens, will it bother you? No. Let's yeah. go and play, play the game. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Show them back, yeah. I wasn't expecting to be overly busy, but I knew, like in any game you play or against any team, there's always a chance of uh, of them having some chances. Um, you know, we looked at their set pieces and, and their long throws, so they had the opportunities. You know, decent delivery from set pieces, so there's always a chance. And the longer the game stays nil nil, they obviously try and sit back and catch you on the counter attack. You know, they, they're always in with a chance. So just thankfully, you know, I was I was ready when when needed. Yeah, it was tough. It, I think the thing was, it, it was different to you know what we're used to. Like every day we train and and play on grass. Uh, you know, then to, to go and play on on Astro Turf, it, it is completely different. The ball moves different. The holds up. Uh, um, you can't really zip the ball around. It, it takes a bubble uh, for the likes of the, the wingers or strikers who would run with the ball more. To, you know, it can be more difficult, but I suppose both teams were playing on it and we just had to get on with it. I'd say at times the more difficult thing was was the wind. Uh, you know, first half I thought we were, we were going into the wind and then when we came out second half I thought we were as well. Uh, I don't know what way it was going. It, was, it seemed to be swirling, so it was tough, but you know, the main thing for us was uh, to get off to a good start and get three points and, and that's what we've done. Jeff, uh, interesting celebration. Uh, it was just an empty stand. It was a bit, a bit of fun with the lads. That was it. No, you don't know when he was back that way when I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't You're reaching for something there. You were, You're reaching for something that's not there. Maybe if you were stood in the runway, it could have been, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Jeff, let's ask you about um, the previous Georgia games. Uh, they looked at their best when they were allowed to have the ball and, and retain possession. And uh, <coughs> the Irish sort of set off, set off for a bit and allowed them to come onto them. But while they looked vulnerable, I thought, when Ireland really went at them, um, you know, early in the first game, early, early in the away game and in the second half at the, at the, at the home game. Is that as a left field, is that the game you really want to play, that sort of uh, push, pushing on front foot football, especially in, in Mick's first home match? Yeah, uh, obviously, you know, if you if you give any team time on the ball, they're going to be good. Uh, you look at that, even at times, Gibraltar, if they have the ball, they, you know, they've players who can who can hurt you. Um, it's going to be the same again tomorrow. We probably know these a little bit more. We have had them in the last two qualifying campaigns, so uh, we know a few of our players, what they can do. And like you said, at times, if you give them time on the ball, time to get their head up and, and pick out a pass or run with it, they can be dangerous. So, uh, you know, it's down for us to stop them doing that.